This is Chris Yadaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. Today I'm here in a room doing a Venetian plaster wall, a how to video, but this isn't about Venetian plaster. This is about painters wear looking professional, not acting professional, but looking professional on the job site. I get all kinds of questions and comments on my YouTube channel, social media um, platform, Instagram, Facebook. What pants am I wearing? I get that a lot because I think people um, notice the knee pads in the pants in there. And I get um, some questions about my shoes and some about my, my shirts and hats. And I'm gonna just talk a little bit about looking and acting professional. I'm really big on wearing painter's wear that makes you look professional and um, just gives you um, your your clients and customers confidence that you're the, you're the man to do the job and you're the painter to do the job. I'm really a big believer in you start to get too much paint on there, you just look dirty and messy. It looks like you're putting more paint on your clothes and your walls, and that doesn't build a whole lot of trust with your customers. I want them just to have confidence that I'm a neat, clean individual, and that if I go into their house, I'm not gonna be just getting paint everywhere, not only on my clothes, but on their carpets and floors and stuff like that. I'd say like if I start to get more than 5% of paint on my pants or my shirts or my hats, I switch them out. It's the same with my guys. I want my guys looking neat, clean, and tidy. And it's a small expense to building up customer confidence and building your brand. Getting on to the pants. I'll talk about the pants. These are Thrive Workwear. And I'm going to talk about the pants, you know, the shoes, and my shirt and hat. And I do want to say right now, I am not paid. I don't even know these people from Thrive. Yes, they sent me the pants for free. I got the shoes for free. It has nothing to do with my opinion about what I think about them. They're not paying me to say any of this. They sent them to me. I tested them. And now these are the best paint, painter's pants I've ever worn. I absolutely like the style, the cut, and the fit of them. They're like a slim fit. They're not all baggy at the bottom. I'm really not into that baggy look. I don't think it's a very professional look. Um, these things fit excellent. Something about the material, they're a very thick, durable stretch fabric. They got all your typical painter's um, pockets on them. Um, pockets on them and around them. They've got a hammer holder. Pockets are pretty big on the inside. They got pockets inside the pockets and they've got pockets, multiple pockets in the back. They are Thrive. Um, Thrive Workwear is who manufactures them. There's a little orange tag right here. It says Squish. I assume that has something to do with um, patenting or trademarking of the knee pad that goes inside of them. These are not removable knee pads. They go right into the wash. They can be washed over and over and over again. I've used these pants quite a few times now. I've been using them and painting in them daily and the shape of the knee pad never changes, stays the same. And the knee pad is, um, it's actually, it doesn't look thick. It's not super thick, but it's super dense and it functions very, very well. I don't have to run out, grab knee pads, strap them on. And we all know how the Velcro gets irritating around your legs. And um, if you gotta run out and grab them, you can't find them in your vehicle. Uh, these are just there for use always. And, you can see they kind of like just disappear in the pants, but you do know they're there. That's why I've been getting a lot of questions about them. But the pants are excellent. Um, I absolutely love them. So um, once again, they are the best painter pants that I've ever worn in my career. Uh, the shoes, um, I was given the shoes by Keen. I was a big um, fan of just always wearing athletic shoes. I wore Solomon um, athletic shoes, and I really like Solomon because they were lace-free, and I hate tying my laces and um but then once keen sent me these boots i absolutely um love the boots because they just look um more like work wear and you know not an athletic shoe a little more expensive than um than solomon shoes although solomon's are like a hundred and some dollars but the sole of them and the insole of them absolutely soft don't hurt my feet walking around them all day extremely comfortable they when i got them right out of the box they felt like um, they've been worn for months like they'd already been broken in absolutely amazing shoes i, I love them they're keen keen boots k-e-e-n if you haven't seen them and um keen has not paid me one dime to say anything about this and neither is thrive i just like and love the look I like the feel and they're very functional for a painter um shirts yeah i'm really big on not getting a lot of paint on my shirts you can't have shirts that are too expensive otherwise it just becomes expensive you know you get them on them and throw them away but i um, these are next level shirts the next level shirt quality is 
they're so soft, they fit really great. The hat, uh, the hat is a hat, uh, it's a ripstop hat. The fabric is called ripstop, comes from Auto Company. You can go to your local paint store, you can get free shirts and you can get free hats from your local paint store. But I'm not sure why in the world you would want to promote that brand and not promote your own brand when you're in the paint store with prospective clients walking in and out of the paint store or promote your brand when you're on the job site or walking out to your vehicle and somebody walking by, you know, the sidewalk sees your shirt, sees your logo and stuff and understands who you are. I mean, it's, it's about, you know, promoting your brand, increasing your brand awareness around your community. That's through, you know, what you wear to your yard signs, to your newsletters, to the branding on your vehicle. Those are just a few of the items to increase your brand awareness. You should look professional. You should act professional. It builds customer confidence. It's something you can't overlook as a painter. There's too many times to see, you know, painters just with clothes that they've been painting in, you know, for years that they have just a massive layer of paint on it. I know these paint, these pants are not uh, cheap. I believe they're somewhere around $70, $80 and you're probably coughing and choking right now, you know, in your seat as you're watching this video. But if you're not wiping your caulking and wiping your pants, or wiping paint on your pants, these things are gonna last you. Once I get a hole, and you know, we all know some of the painter pants that are out there, low quality, very thin material, they get holes in them really fast, especially the knees. If I get a hole in a knee or in a pocket of a pair of pants, I toss them, I do not wear them. I don't think it looks very professional. Look professional, act professional, wear clothes that um, really just say you take pride in the trade that you're in. This is a trade, a craft that we should be proud of, that we should dress the part. If you've got any tips or tricks when it comes to clothing, paint wear, if you've got something that's better than um, Next Level, Auto, Thrive, Keen, let us know down in the comment section below. I would love to go out and test it out. I'm sure other people would you know, like to hear about it. I answer and read all the questions and comments I get. You know, If you haven't subscribed to our channel, if you wanna see more videos, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, that way you get notified every time I come out with a new video. If you don't hit the notification bell, subscribing doesn't mean anything because you won't get notified. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Come check us out again here on Paint Life TV. Watch us, your eyes on my eyes. We'll see you on the next video.